वेलकम बैक टू गांव बढ़े तो देश बढ़े ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ इंडियन एग्रीकल्चर कंटिन्यूज टू बी रेन डिपेंडेंट एंड विद फ्लक्चुएशन इन रेनफॉल लेवल्स द वॉटर टेबल इज डिप्लीटिंग फास्ट However Karnataka based Sankal Rural Development Society is doing its bit to aid farmers with irrigation facilities. Here's their story. This is Karnataka's Hubli district. 425 kilometers from the state capital Bengaluru. While the city is growing into an industrial township, its outskirts are still agrarian. Rising mercury and declining rainfall levels have left the region parched. Chitranjan is just one of the many farmers whose crops have been affected due to the lack of irrigation facilities. The water was very less, so with the available water for irrigation, we were growing chikku, mango, peanuts. After that, we did drip irrigation and made a farm of 12 to 13 acres. After three to four years, the water there also became scarce. After that, we could not continue with drip irrigation. After that, the crop yield also reduced drastically. On seeing the conditions of the rural folk, Sankalp Rural Development Society, headed by Sekandar Mira Nayak, sprung into action. An idea that germinated from the age-old borewell technology was taken a step further by the organization, and what came into being was a borewell recharge. So instead of depending on groundwater, this borewell gets its input from rainwater. So, uh, the benefit is that one inch. So the benefit of this is that one inch of rain is collected in the borewell. Then 10 acres of farmland, then 5 to 6 acres of irrigable land is there. Then irrigation can also be increased. In summer, they can grow vegetables and crops that need more water like sugarcane or paddy. Then that can be grown as well. The idea is simple. Dig a pond deep enough to store rainwater. Channel it through a narrow pipe to help increase the force of the water. Pass it through a stone wall for primary filtering and connect it with drip pipes to ensure just the right amount of drip irrigation. The recharged borewell has a greater amount of water stored and only a bit gets used up in drip irrigation. The filters ensure better quality of the water as well. It is process in, another. in this process what happens that it's a whole year's process. Water is continuously recharged. Then what happens is 2 to 3 lakh litres of water that is stored in a year, about 10 to 12 times it would be full. That means that much of water keeps getting stored. So what happens is if on one acre of land, one inch of rainfall is received, then we can store 1 lakh 20 litres of water. Sikandar spent hours with the villagers, educating them on this unique technique that would help them save time, water, labor, as well as money. We go to the farms and discuss with the farmers. The farmers then tell us that if the water comes from here, then we can do irrigation from the borewell. Then we make a trench to hold at least 2 to 3 lakh litres of water. Chitranjan was one of the early adopters of the borewell recharge solution in Hubli. With just one rain, his pond was filled to excess capacity. While it was difficult to irrigate even one acre of land earlier, leaving his land barren, today he has enough capacity to irrigate over seven acres. As a result, Chitranjan has been able to fully utilize his fields with banana plantations. Naturally, his income and standard of living have improved manifold. <laughs> Since the borewell was recharged, the water recharges the water table and because of that the crops also grow well and I get to earn a good revenue as well. Once the water table increases, then the chances of the borewell failing or eventuality of less rainfall 
is very less. Because of this, the cost of making a borewell is also reduced. At first, I was growing chiku, but now I have started growing bananas and vegetables as well. Both bananas and vegetables require more water, which is fulfilled by the borewell. The crop yield is also good, and I am earning good money from the sale of this. This is the process for doing bore well recharge with rainwater harvesting. First we build a small holding pond to collect the rainwater. Then a pit is dug around the existing bore well. A dry stone wall is built around that pit. And then we put filtration layers. 1 foot 40 mm gravel, then 1 foot of 20 mm gravel, followed by 1 foot of rough sand. Then with a cutting tool, we cut slits into the bore well casing and wrap it securely with nylon mesh and rope. The next stage is placing cement rings around the bore well casing. These are sealed with cement. We now fill the rest of the outer area with filtration material. And we have a well formed around the bore well casing. The water flows from the pond through a channel to enter the filtration area and it soaks down through the filtration material around the cement ring well and comes up from underneath to fill the well around the bore well casing. Filtering through the mesh which keeps the dirt out from entering the, the bore well. Thus the water enters the bore well to recharge the aquifer below. The next video shows really clearly the water pouring in through the slits in the casing and entering into the bore well. With only two or three good rains, enough water enters the aquifer to provide the farmer with plenty of water for his next dry season. If you are interested in increasing the water supply on your farm, if you need more water, call us on 9986 840 730 or check our website srdsindia.org. Thanks for watching.